its new star information is power the current the news headline insecurity un vows to support nigerian army the united nations un has pledged continuous partnership with the nigerian army in tackling security challenges in the country and the sahel region the representative of the un secretary general for central africa Mr. Mahmoud Saleh made the pledge when he paid a courtesy call on the chief of Army Staff Kuas, Lieutenant Farouk Yahya, on Thursday in Abuja. The Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Yema Machoku, disclosed this in a statement on Thursday in Abuja. The United Nations envoy said it was crucial to adopt a regional approach and provide antidotes to terrorism and other contemporary security challenges by dividing West Africa and the Sahel region. The envoy was accompanied on a visit by the Special Representative of the UN Secretary General in West Africa and Sahel, Mr. Frank Weiss, Lusemi Fall. And in his response to the Kuwas Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, they said that many countries across the globe were currently confronted with terrorism and other security challenges peculiar to each nation. He also emphasized on the need for partnership in the areas of terrorism victim support, providing of terrorism financiers, arms and proliferation control and te technological support. And the Khan will be arrested and charged for disruption of peace. Autumn said that the People's Democratic Party, PDP, will eat the demand of Nigerians to be led by the best hands. The governor who spoke at the Makodi airport on arrival from Abuja said, I have always said that zoning is good, but it is driven by the marginalization of people and also the level of poverty among the people. Federal government is winning war against terrorism, Lai Mohammed. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says that the federal government is winning against the war against terrorism in the northeastern part of the country. The minister said this in an exclusive interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja. We were in Maiduguri two weeks ago for another very successful town hall meeting with all, where all stakeholders were in attendance like the traditional rulers, the military police and CSOs. The governor confirmed that the heightened assaults and attacks by the military in the theater had led to the surrender of many insurgents. And again, the military has recently acquired more platforms and these are making life difficult for the terrorists. That is why anytime they make attempts to come in, they are being repelled fiercely. There is no doubt in our minds that the federal government is winning the war very, very much, he said. The minister, Lai Mohammed, explained further that the fierce confrontation been faced by the terrorists in the northeast had pushed them to north central region to join forces with bandits. He, however, gave an assurance that the military onslaught would continue until total peace and stability were restored in all parts of the country. In some places, the activities of Boko Haram and bandits have dovetailed. This is because of the pummeling they are receiving from the military in the northeast. They are moving towards uh, toward parts of the North Central, and here they are linking up with bandits. So there are some handshakes of some sorts. It is just like you displace water, which will flow somewhere. So that what is uh, so that is exactly what is happening. But the military is aware of this, and I can assure you that in the next few days, that uh, also all this will be history because the military is really doing its best, and we are not all giving up. Lai Mohammed added, and this is Lai Mohammed that is talking that about the federal government's attempt to you know shame the Boko Haram and terrorism in the country and to overcome it, saying very boldly that uh, the federal government is really winning and it is evident and that the success is recorded by the federal government in this uh, area of fighting terrorism is actually a moral boosting effort and um, should actually be appraised. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, has said that the federal government is winning the war against terrorism, especially in the northeast zone of the country. While during an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja, 
he said that uh, we, we can see and recall that uh, some communities in this northeast have actually been under the full control of the insurgents, that is Boko Haram, and some terrorists before 2015. And now that the federal government has done its best to reclaim uh, all these, uh, you know, these uh, communities through what he described as relentless efforts of the military and other security forces. While the minister also said that the record, he attributed the successes recorded to the various moral boosting efforts of the federal government in fighting uh, terrorism. terrorism. And therefore, he has said that this is actually not where they are going to stop, that they were, continue, they were going to uh, you know, continue to make sure that they win totally. The minister actually said that the federal government you know, had actually gotten additional acquisition of new military hardware. And the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the federal government has taken delivery of about 10 Super Sukano fighter jets, a fighter jet that is very, very strong, and, um, you know, uh, with additional two expected by the end of October. And these, you know, two panel jets were one that the indigenous people of Biafra at a particular point in time had said that the, that it was not right for the federal government to have such because they might actually use it wrongly on them. You know, that is to tell you how efficient and effective uh, this super Tucano fighter jet uh, are actually, uh, is actually, uh, you know, uh, is how, how, how effective it is. And for them to have gotten 10, it means that they are really serious to ensure that terrorism uh, gets out of the uh, country. And in his way, it says that there is no doubt that the fact uh, that the federal government is really winning against the terrorists, saying that 20 local government areas in Bono State and uh, that it was 13 that were effectively under the control of Boko Haram uh, as of 2015. And now that uh, it is no longer the same thing because there was a particular time that they went to my Gori to Bama, about 78 kilometers, but no single vehicle was on the way. And while they were traveling, it was uh, beckoning to them that this was a suicide mission. And luckily for them, when they left, uh, it was that same route that a commander was killed. And uh, when they go to Bama, over 6,000 houses in Bama, every one of them have been bombed by the Boko Haram. But and that was in 2015. But in, uh, as, of, as of today, if you go to Bama, you would see that there is a whole lot of differences there. And that place has actually been restored. And uh, th there is no doubt you know, to him that they are even winning. We hear it uh, every now and then on the news that 2,000 people have surrendered, about 5,000 have surrendered, about 8,000 have surrendered. We see that the surrendering of these insurgents and terrorists are actually speaking volume of the successes of the military. And the governor confirmed that the attacks heightened assault you know, the, while, while they had a meeting in Maiduguri two weeks ago, which was successful, where the traditional rulers and military and police and CSUs were there. The governor of Maiduguri state confirmed that the heightened assault and attacks by the military in the theater had led to the surrender of many insurgents. And again, that the military has recently acquired more platform than this and these are making life difficult for the terrorists. And therefore, uh, the, he gave an assurance that the military onslaught will continue until total peace and stability will actually restored back to the country. Thanks for listening.